It was sad news again this past week, wasn't it? The tragedy in Waukesha, Wisconsin, when a car careens through a parade, a parade that was all about celebration and joy, turned suddenly tragic. I was listening to a radio talk about that the other day, and the announcer said something that really struck home. You don't leave home to go to a parade and not intend to return. You don't leave in the morning, not figuring that you wouldn't be coming back. You're going to have a good time, enjoy it, and then return. But such wasn't the case for many. And we pray for those who are injured that they recover, and they actually recover mentally as well from this tragedy. But the fact is, when she was mentioning that on the radio, I thought, are we prepared for times like this? Are we prepared to meet the Savior? Because we don't know when that time will be. I was drawn to 1 Thessalonians when it said, Now, brothers, about the times and dates, we do not need to write to you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all sons of the light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be alert and self-controlled. We think about it. Let's be alert, knowing that at any moment God could come in glory. But what a wonderful time that will be as we are prepared for his coming. We know what he has done. We know his love and forgiveness. What a rejoicing time that would be for those that knew and were prepared. The tragedy at the Waukesha Parade was probably a step into glory. For many, maybe it's just a reminder for us all. Let's get ready. Jesus is coming. He's coming again in all glory. Let's be waiting for him.